Hello, Merlins and Serlins. I'm the F-Bomb, here on Nick Browing, and first debut of my new mask, with some improvements, which makes it look much better. Now, I like making stuff with, I make, like making silly videos with cameras, as you can see with this video here, with this camera. But as technology is getting better, and as the years go by, Camera's getting better for much cheaper. And there's also stuff that my camera can't do. This flip cam. Hi. Uh, this flip cam is a very good camera. It's, uh, well, it's good for what I need it for. You know, if you want to do like real f filmography stuff, you're better off getting a much more expensive camera. Um, or a new, or a new camera for as much money as this one costs now. But I got a new camera because it came with something fun, but I'm going to review the camera as a whole. So let's go look at my camera. My new camera. What is in that box and it came today? Ah. Trying to get this to work out in my room is proving to be a pain in the butt. Especially because I want to do it on my bed. And this tripod is uh, it's tired. So I wanted this for a very specific reason. Uh, talk about being an amateur. I wanted this for a very specific reason. It came with something I liked, and uh, my camera's getting a little wear and tear. This was, um, it was like thirty dollars off. It was like sixty bucks altogether. This camera I'm using right now was two hundred dollars, and I actually saved up for it. This one, um, you know, sixty bucks wasn't that much. So, the packaging. It's an HD video camera. From, and it's black. From what I've read online, it does HD and non-HD. So from what the box is saying, it says it has night vision, which is what I wanted. It has movie editor. It has a high-speed movie recorder, which seems cool. It does full HD, 920 by 1080 pixels. I've never remembered the, 10, the 920 part. Um, but this, this uh, high speed, I hope that means 60 frames per second. Because this camera here can only do 30 frames per second. Still good camera though. It says still camera up to 5 megapixels. Alright, movie editing, easy upload to Facebook, Flickr, etc. Night vision mode, full HD 1080 recording. Apparently there is a non-full HD version. Uh, of recording. Wow, look at that. That's interesting. Where, um, I guess it records by 720. Oh, good. Instruction manual. So, what I've read online was that when people recorded with the non uh, HD, you get to record for longer. So, they're saying. What they said to do was, oh god, it's a big owner's manual. What they said to do was to get a different SD card. That's right, this camera takes SD cards, unlike my current camera, which has, um, this is a video for your, for a TV. My camera has a, um, a built-in memory, which can record up to two hours. This is a lanyard, came with a lanyard. Here's the camera itself. Get back to this. Is there anything else in the box? No, that looks like it. Alright. So now the camera. Hmm. Uh huh. Hmm. Yes. Well, it's smaller than my flip cam. It's about. I'm putting it right on top of my flip cam. It's about like half an inch smaller. Lengthwise, length, length, height, height. <laughs> it's about half an inch smaller this big. So my flip cam would be like up to here on this, if it was the other way. My flip cam's up to here. My flip cam's bigger. And it's about the same width. I believe I farted. It's got a tripod jack, like most cameras should have. This is the SD card, I believe. It says micro SD, so wonderful. It takes micro SDs. It doesn't even take full size SDs, it takes micro SDs. And there's a, I guess this is a 
night vi night vision uh, daytime nighttime. Here's an AV cable and an HDMI uh, spot. Here, which I don't know how this will work, is a USB slot. Which, once you open it here, from what it looks like, you push this up and the USB comes in. This is a little troublesome for me because my computer is about like like two or three inches off the ground so my this is gonna sit like this in my computer floating it feels sturdy enough like that shouldn't really bother it make sure you push it down all the way because I've already had that problem oh it's kind of like in a spring it goes up a little bit once it's open so you gotta hold it down and close it is this charged? <laughs> Oh, I don't know what kind of batteries this takes. First, let's get all this stupid tape off. They tape... This is dumb. They taped up the buttons, but not the screen. Ah, oh, isn't that lovely? Like, you'd think they... There's some left. Oh, this camera's gonna be picking up fingerprints. This is my first time reviewing a camera, can you tell? I've never reviewed my flip camera. Which I'm using right now. Personally, I've loved my flip camera. So, that's stupid. T typically, put, you put tape here. And there's no tape anywhere else. Let me throw this away. This is a grand three feet in the other direction. So how do you charge this? I am, t I am asking you and myself. How do you charge this Funami? Let's read the instruction manual. Oh, Jesus. What is this? This is in the back. A limited warranty. Okay, good. Um, let's see. Product care. Warning, warning, caution. <clears throat> hmm. We will, we will be back when I'm I figure brilliant. it out. Internal battery system charged just like the flip camera via USB. Now, what it, which means it's a lithium battery. Now, unlike the flip camera, which this one, I believe, there's no locking uh, mechanism on here. The flip camera can take. Ooh, look at me! Son of a bitch! The flip camera can take uh, three triple A's, which it won't last as long as the flip camera's internal battery, but. Um, that's always good if you run out of batteries. This one, it's very low. It, I don't think it holds any batteries. It's also very light. <clears throat> Feels much lighter. Feels like a toy. Like if I drop it, it's going to smash into a million pieces. Which I think I read that somewhere. <sighs> I gotta turn this thing on, don't I? Is it not turning on? How hard do I have to press this? I felt something happen. I don't think it has any battery charge. So I guess I need to charge it. We'll be back. Actually, before I plug it in, I've just read here on the high speed movie, it says the device is capable of recording in high speed movie picture mode as 320 by 240 pixels, but, now that's low resolution, right? But it can record that at 120 FPS. Now 120 FPS, if I'm not correct, if I'm incorrect, or if I'm wrong. I believe that's how fast the human eye sees. Oh, there's my computer starting up. Now, with cameras, like if you're trying to do something like capture lightning on like a, cam on like a camera, you need at least 60 FPS. That might not come up. But with 120 FPS, I'm pretty sure you will definitely capture that. With this, this camera, it's 30 FPS. I think. It seems like it's 30 FPS. It may be 60, I'm not so sure. But I have tried to capture lightning on this. That will not work. So, in its lowest recording, it, can, it has the highest FPS on the camera that I have right now. So that's pretty good. Doesn't that just look lovely? That's it jammed out of my computer and I wish the glare <laughs> on my camera wasn't my hands. Yeah, but that does not look good at all. Um, 
the USB is right here, pretty much. It's like right here. What the manual says is to charge this for three and a half hours or 200 minutes. Uh, if that isn't three and a half hours, then I read the three and a half part incorrectly, but the 200 minutes is correct. So you charge it for two, 200 minutes before it's done charging. Then you can go ahead and do your heart's desires with your camera. Where is the instruction? Well, it is on we are now following my hand movements instead of the tripod because, well, while that is loading, I figured that was going to do something. So what you're going to have to do when you're done is you take your micro... Let's oh boy, I am tired. What I should have mentioned before, which isn't detrimental, I think anyone can figure it out, is once you are done charging your new Funami camera, the um, charging button will turn off, or it will turn red. Green means it's charging, and means you need to keep it in there longer. Um, as far as that editing software goes, that's all on the camera itself, which is incredible because of how light the camera feels. This camera weighs a ton, and I don't get it. I don't, like, this camera comes with drivers and stuff, but you need to do all your editing on the computer with, uh, hello, with, with this camera, <laughs> you need, all the editing is there. It's on the camera. This one. It's, it's uh, you gotta do it on the computer there, which is interesting to me, considering how light that one feels and how heavy this one, it's not heavy, you know, this one weighs like probably maybe a pound, I don't know what a pound feels like in my hand, that one feels like it weighs like nothing, it feels like I'm holding like a box of paper, a little more so, but it's outrageously light, which may mean if you drop it, it may get damaged, I'm not so sure how much it would. Normally that camera's a hundred dollars. I got it for sixty. So if you, you know, if you paid a hundred dollars for it, use your land yard. Yard. You know, for me that might just sit in my pocket all day, and I might just take it out to videotape something here and there. Um, so the video editing software has a ton of stuff on it. Clearly, I have not been able to use it because it is charging. Um, so this will be the end of me talking about everything the camera does. The next few bits will have to wait a while to be made because I'm waiting for it to charge before I actually do anything with the camera. I'm going to actually use the camera in the next few bits. So stay tuned for another jump cut. Well, uh, now that some construction was being done, I had to uh, close my window. It kind of stinks. Ugh, get back in there, flip cam. Oh, well, that's a shame. No! Oh, whoa, what a catch. Well, here's my flip cam. And if you haven't figured it out already, I'm recording with the other camera. And, um, I think, uh, I think full HD actually looks really good here. Uh, it's saying on my camera I can record to up to, for up to 12 minutes, which is pretty interesting, uh, to me, at least. That's interesting. Uh, that may be the battery. I think it is the battery, or it might be as much as in, as in, as in blah, 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 blah. or as much as this micro SD card can hold. But you can buy more. And I'm gonna have to wait till later tonight to upload some more, uh, video, video some more to do the rest. But for uh, comparison, this is what I was recording when I talked about this while I was charging. So, that's uh, a whole other thing. You could look at that and compare, or you could look at my mask and compare it from what it looked like before. And I gotta say, so far, full HD on this camera, from what I can tell looking at this camera, uh, looks much better than my flip cam. The sound quality will be a whole other thing. So I guess we'll see you soon. So here's going to be a little night vision test. I can't see anything. I can, I can see. So apparently this doesn't record when you don't have night vision on, which is weird. So you need to have night vision on the whole time and then you turn the night vision off. So apparently I've been talking to nothing. But it could see pretty decently. I was just saying how like that's the inside and stuff. And uh, that's a tree, which I can see pretty well. And I can see those trees in the back. 
but they have some light on them right now from other outsourcing lights. So I think it's pretty good for a night vision camera. And just for a comparison for my room, <coughs> here's my room. Isn't it beautiful? You've seen it before. And here will be my room without lights. As you can see, it's very dark. Let's go to night vision. And here is it in the night. It's really good inside. Um, you know, could be different on the outside. How's my mask look? I can just barely see it. Oh my goodness, you can actually see my eyes. You can see my creepy little beady eyes. <sighs> oh, that's kind of creepy. This works pretty good in indoors. Um, I'm surprised it could get to the end of my room, which I think is like five feet. Let's, te let's test it, right? With my toesies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like a, my, my room's like 12 feet long, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I could get to the corner there pretty well. And then uh, if we uh, go to something that's completely pitch black, we can see very well, those are my socks. I'm gonna put two socks in there. You go under my bed, which is completely pitch black. We can see everything. <laughs> this is pretty good. It's better than I thought it was gonna be outside. And then of course, when the lights are on, boom. Everything's just super bright. Uh, it does work, but like it does work inside, but it's like black and white. And this shine on my mask, which looks really cool, is actually the infrared light. Um, if you check this out, which I'll try to keep my face out of it, that shine is from the infrared. You can get a bigger infrared that works better. Um, it's like thirty dollars. It's not so bad, but I like this. It takes it takes micro SD cards, which I actually went to Walmart today and bought one. This is the micro SD card it came with, right here. It was it came with a gigabyte, which in full HD, as you can see that in full HD, a gigabyte processes uh, twelve minutes. A footage with a 32 gig, which is what I bought, and it came with this adapter, which I, I like actually. Because if you want to normally do stuff, you gotta pop the the uh, USB out and shove it in your computer while it's on, and it'll detect it as a storage device, and then it'll remove all your stuff. If you get one of these, you can just pop your SD card out, uh, your micro SD, put it in your SD converter, and it just it acts like a USB drive. Much more convenient. Um, but with the 32 gig, it says it could record almost up to seven hours of footage, or at least hold. You know, there's the battery thing, which I'm not, I'm still not so sure how much the battery uh, holds. But um, I'm enjoying this camera so far. I think you should buy it. It's a pretty, it's a decent camera, especially for sixty dollars. A hundred dollars, um, that's opinionated. Uh, that goes with opinion, you know, um, with a hunt, this was extra 30, getting a 32 gigabyte, so that's another thing you have to process. This can take still shots, which I, which I like. I actually did take one of one of my friends in the night vision, and she looked creepy a little. It was kind of funny. Um, like, my flip cam was $200 back in the day. Now you, get, you can get cameras that are $200, and they're much better than this one, or this one just seems some life to it. The one thing I will say is I think the battery lasts longer. I'm not so sure. And there's no processing f uh, software right on here. This is literally just a video cam a camcorder. It does nothing else. Like everything else has to be done on the computer. This one, everything can be done on it. And that's it. I don't know. It's pretty good. I'll probably be using both more often. Well, I, I use this a lot right now, but I'll probably be using this one too more often. So I'm sure you'll see more. Like your favorite if you enjoyed this. I am this mask. This mask is me. I am the F-bomb here on Nick Broink. And thank you for watching.